Hello, my magical Sagittarius. Welcome to your reading for the 2nd to the 7th of August. Can you believe we're in August already? My God. Okay, welcome in. Um, we're going to do a slightly different layout today, so I'll explain that to you. Guys, please remember it's non-gender specific. If the reading doesn't resonate... Oh, God, let's try this again. Sorry, the third reading in a row now. If the reading doesn't resonate with you, please remember you're not Cinderella. Don't try and make it fit. Go and check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. And guys, please, if you're enjoying the content, please like, share, subscribe. I'll be so, so grateful. It also does indicate to me that um, you want more of it. Okay. All right, guys. So we're going to get started. We're going to start off with an oracle for overall energy or something we need to be paying, paying attention to. And then we are going on to the tarot reading. Um, I've created my own little spread and I have pre-shuffled all the cards. So I'm just giving it a quick once over. Um, okay, gods, guides, and elementals. What do our magical Sagittarians need to know for this week? What do our Sagittarians need to know? Apparently nothing. <laughs> Ooh, nice energy. True love coming in here. Let's see where this goes. I'm trying to find space for all these cards there. So on. please hold your call is important to us. Okay, so um, the energy coming through here, a raw true love. Okay, um, I do feel for some of you though that this is actually also about self-love. I'm sorry to put it out there. Um, I think the fire signs have had a bit of a tough time with this, this latest full moon. It's been quite a rough one for most of us, but I think the fire signs have had fun and games. Um, but I do want to just say that there's just a beautiful energy of love around you at the moment. This week coming up, I feel like there's going to be a lot of it. Um, as to whether it's going to be relationship love or self-love, one doesn't know. It actually could just be love for what you do as well, I'm hearing. So let's let's start playing. Let's see where this takes us. <clears throat> What do our beautiful magical Sagittarians need to know? Doesn't matter. I will talk you through the spread. I'm, oh dear Lord. Oh dear Lord. Are we wanting all of them? Yes. Okay. Okay. Sorry, I'm just trying to find out where everybody is supposed to be going. Okay, sorry about that. I was just checking with Kelso where we needed to go. Okay, so this is very much about, it is actually um, so funny. Aries had this card in exactly the same position. Sorry, my third child is in the room. Delilah, in your bed. Quickly, come on, baby. Right, okay, so basically how this works, the heart of the matter here is the Six of Pentacles, okay, I'm getting the term reciprocity, so I'm going to read this for those who are interested in love, and also just to the general kind of everyday life kind of vibe, all right, um, this is very much about balance, okay, um, it's very much about what we give, we need to receive, um, very often we aren't open to this energy, and it's, it creates a bit of a, a stagnation in our lives, we are then not open to abundance, and we are not we're not open, oh god, I'm so sorry, my child, just give me a second, I'm just going to pause the video, I'll be back now, sorry about that, back in the room, right, um, this is very much about reciprocity, about giving and receiving, being open to, okay, um, so this is the heart of the matter. It feels like you are striving for balance in a, in a range of different ways. So for some of you, it may just be in your general life. For others, it may be in love, all right? Um, but this is about really not giving too much. And I'm going to say this because the energy bubbling up from underneath is the devil, okay? Now, the devil is all about temptation. And I feel like you guys are tempted to give more than you receive, okay? So this is a very important energy and I can understand the true love card now because you'll see that this true love in here 
is just, it's a reflection of her, okay, it's looking back at her, this is very much about not being tempted to give more, because you don't think that you are, this is deep stuff, so just bear with me here, worth getting a balanced space, being in a balanced space, being in a, in a, in a give and take relationship, a fair relationship, okay, this is very much about whatever it is, whether it be in love, whether it be in work, I'm hearing very clearly that this is about not underestimating your value here, okay, you're striving for this balance, you're striving for the, the ebb and flow, the reciprocity, um, but you're very tempted to fall into the space of um, giving more in order to be, I'm hearing the word lovable, whatever that may mean, it does not just mean relationships, it could be that your boss takes more interest in you or sees you for more for, for what you're doing. It could be that you feel like your family and all that need to, you know, you need to perform or to, to be this person um, in order, for, you know, for um, people to appreciate you and to love you, which isn't the case. OK, there's a very heavy energy around this in this reading. So just make sure that you are aware of your worth, that you know where you're at and where you are. OK, so how I do this reading now, the next card out, the third card out is about what is chasing you. OK, so what is trying to get you? What messages are trying to come through to you? Um, what is trying to come into your space? All right. Now, you've got here the king of pentacles. OK, so of all of the the um, the suits down on the table, the pentacles, you've got quite a few, actually. You've got one, two, three, uh, four, five, six of your cards are pentacles. OK, now pentacles are about stability, reliability. Um, when something like this is coming in, um, it's very much about you know, it comes in slowly, all right, so like if the Knight of Pentacles is arriving, it comes in slowly, it's very much an energy of, they're wanting you to know that you are capable of being this, of having this all, all right, of, um, how do I say this, um, of really being safe and secure in the knowledge of what you are worth, is what Kelso is saying to me. Thank you. Um, and it, 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 I get for a lot of you, so this is not going to be for everybody, because not everybody struggles with self-worth, but for those of you that do, this is for you. Um, it doesn't matter what you are facing, whether it's a job or a home situation or a relationship. This is very much about you understanding that you have everything in you to do what you need to do and that you are worth what you're wanting to do, you're worth getting what you want in your life, okay, um, and this is directly from Kelso, he's saying that this is about, they try, this energy is trying to come in of stabilizing you into understanding your worth, that's a very strange way of putting it, but that's exactly how he said it to me, they're trying to stabilize you into a space, I'm guessing that when your emotions are all over the place, and you're feeling insecure, and all of that, Obviously, there's instability, there's feelings of instability in that. But more than that, you're not going to then believe that you are capable of of, of um, being worth what you are seeking, all right? So they're just letting you know that you are, the message that they're trying to, is chasing you is that you are worthy of what you are seeking, all right? Then we've got, what are you chasing? Okay, now, this is the Five of Cups. So the Five of Cups is very much about um, loss, regret, um, feeling grief okay so something has been lost um most of us go through this let's be honest there are very few of us in life that get to to escape this but this is about really now not focusing on this anymore i'm hearing that what you are wanting to do with this wanting to be balanced and wanting to be in a fair space and wanting to get what you deserve right um part of that is wanting to be out of this energy of feeling like this of feeling the regret, of feeling that sadness, okay, but they're saying it's a choice for you to make, you have to make the choice to move forward, right, so what he is focusing on here is seeing that there are three cups that spilled, but if you turn around, he'd be able to see the two cups that are behind him, okay, this is again is about perspective, I'm surprised, you're the only of the fire signs that hasn't received the hangman, because I would have expected that a perspective would have come out here, but this is very much about seeing from a different perspective, all right, 
Turn around, see what's available to you. See that you are worthy of what you're chasing, all right? So it doesn't matter what it is, whether it be love or whatever it is, okay? This is very much about you actually walking away. This is what you're wanting on a soul level. It's coming up again, that balance, that reciprocity, that fairness for yourself. But by the same token, um, you need to walk away from. Now, the fifth card in here at the top that's crowning you is my message from source for you. This is the two of pentacles, all right? Um, it's telling me first and foremost that you've got too much on your plate, and I can feel it, it's tangible. This feeling is a feeling of overwhelm as well, okay? It's feeling like you just can't, you don't know which way to go. So spirits are saying to you, take a deep breath and release what you don't need to have on your plate at the moment. Don't add to it by taking on other people's stuff, but more so start letting go of the stuff that is non-essential for you. You need clarity to be able to make the decisions to move forward, the decisions to walk away from this, okay? The decisions not to be tempted into overgiving. All right. Um, so I'm hearing this very, very clearly that you need to actually just clear your plate a bit and actually move forward. And that is from spirit. That is the message to you on how to move forward. Now, in this, I do an ancestors one. The bottom card here is the ancestors, a message from your ancestors. Aries got exactly the same card in exactly the same place. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. And I choose to do a spirit a message and an ancestral message because your ancestors ancestor is trying to give you like a pick me up -er, whereas your your spirits will give you advice okay so your your ancestors come through with a, a message of hope in a way um and this is it okay this is what they're saying to you this is there for you your ten of cups your everything your happily ever after is there for you you are worthy of this okay you are absolutely worthy of being in this space, of having everything you want, of having what you seek and what is seeking you, all right? So a beautiful message from your ancestors to keep going. It is there. It is available to you. You are not um, in a position where you are not um, worthy of it or entitled to it. Sorry. <coughs> My throat chakra. So... Um, they're saying very much, just keep going. It's there. It's on the board for you. It's right there, okay? But you need to actually make the decision to move away from that, okay? And then you start moving into that space. So I've asked, how do we do that? And they've come through as real smart asses. The Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords have shown up, okay? This is about... First of all, it's the ending of cycles. Tens are ending of cycles. One becomes a new beginning. It comes down to a one. But this is very much about your ten of wands is about being overburdened, exhaustion, and carrying too much. Okay, I said to you, you've got too much on your plate. Let it go, all right? So this is letting down what is not necessary for you to carry at this point. The Ten of Wands is saying that you're keeping yourself stuck mentally, okay? You need to release what you are carrying mentally, all right? This is like, I mean, that's a terrible thing to say, but this really is like rock bottom. This is like, there is no, there's no place to go but up, all right? So they're saying to you that the cycles are coming to an end, but you have to choose. To release these cycles. Everything in life is a choice. Release the cycles in order to move forward. Okay, so really nice energy there. It's encouraging. Okay, now I'm saying, how do you do that? They're saying, look at what you've created. Look at what you've already done. Okay, this is about waiting. He's looking at the harvest and he's waiting for it to come to fruition so he can harvest it. It's a patience card. Remember I said to you as well, I kind of feel like you need the hangman for patience and perspective. Same kind of energy here. This is very much about you um, looking back at what you have achieved. Okay, so again, same card. Instead of focusing on the fallen cups and regretting it, look at what the, the two cups that are still standing. What have you done? What have you achieved? Who are the people that you've helped? Where have you been in your life where you sprinkled your Sagittarian magic and made life better, where you have shown your worth, okay, and you've stepped up to it? Um, look, I do feel that for some of you who are worried about money, I don't think you need to because I think that there is money coming in. I have to tell you, with all of these pentacle cards down and your outcome being the nine of pentacles, I think you're okay. So just take a deep breath. If money is an issue for you, just take a deep breath. I do feel that when you step out of this space here, okay, when you let the burdens down and you get out of your, your head, I think that you'll start seeing more coming through for you. But this is about also, this is a way of, of letting this down. So this card, 
the question around this is how do we let this go and spirit is clearly saying to you look what you've achieved look what you have done okay stop worrying about what's not there and what you don't have look at what you have achieved all right it's very important we very often on the journey get caught up in where we need to be and not and not how far we've come and then finally your outcome is the nine of pentacles okay this is the independent woman she has got everything going for her like everything going for her she's self-sustaining and please guys again not gender specific she's self-sustaining she's competent she's beautiful she's doing life on her terms okay so i do feel that i said to you in the beginning i felt like this true love card was a lot about self-love okay and i do still maintain that i think you look at her she's in her splendor she's in her absolute magnificence she knows her worth and in order to know our worth we have to love ourselves we have to know what we are worth we have to love who we are all right so it's a beautiful beautiful reading for you guys i really like it for you i feel like there's a definite movement moving forward here um but you need to make the decisions to release this this is this is these are your obstacles to overcome to not be tempted to overgive to take what you're not needing off of your plate you've, you've got too many you've got too many balls in the air at the moment sagittarius let them go okay very very important okay guys so i hope you like the reading please don't forget to like share subscribe if you like the content then i know you obviously want more of it and have an absolutely incredible week um if i don't see you for morning messages i will see you next week for your weekly reading Big loves and I will see you soon. Bye.